Hi Eastgate and Prickly Pear Kids. This is Mrs. Lunday and I'm going to read Volcano Dreams. This is book three of the Treasure State Award nominees. It's a story about Yellowstone and the author's name is Janet Fox. The pictures are by Marlo Garnsworthy. I do like the pictures on this. The illustrations are great. Here's the first picture. As the sun rises, something is sleeping in Yellowstone. The wolf isn't sleeping. She opens her watchful blue eyes while her pups nurse. You can see there's some cute little pups here, little wolf pups. The moose isn't sleeping. He wades into the murky water and scoops up wads of pond weed. And next picture. The bear isn't sleeping. She strips choke cherries from a branch with her sharp clawed paws. Is the elk sleeping? No, he lifts his antlered head and bugles across the aspen gold meadow. And down here in the corner, they show a little mouse running. Those are some really large antlers. Has anybody gone antler hunting lately? Is the bighorn ram sleeping? No, he tilts his head and crashes, booms against his brother. I don't know why they do that. You'd think it'd just give him a headache. Is the mountain goat sleeping? No, she dances up the sheer cliff on her flexing feet. Have you ever seen a mountain goat in the mountains? I saw one one time go on the way to Great Falls doing exactly that. The grazing buffalo. You see it's got a magpie sitting on its back. The grazing buffalo grumble and grunt wide awake. Ooh, but you can see in the background there's steam coming up. The mountain lion peers through the branches, ever watchful. The coyote, I say coyote, a lot of people say coyote, but I call them coyotes. The coyote howls, his song echoing. This is like uh, 8 o'clock when everybody's howling outside. Did you howl? I did tonight. Even the earth isn't sleeping in Yellowstone. Mud pots bubble and burp. Steam vents hiss and gurgle. Geysers sprout and roar. But down, down, deep in the ground, where the rocks turn soft and hot, lies a sleeping giant. Ooh, you can see the bright red. This is hot. The great volcano dreams beneath the Earth's surface. Fiery magma fire forms in the giant's heart. Rainwater slips down through the cracks and the fissures. The magma heats the water, sending its steam back up, up, up. And it comes up through these vents. And this is what you'll see if you go to Yellowstone. Ages upon ages ago, the giant stirred awake. The mountains stretched and yawned and rolled like thunder. Cool pictures here. Steam vents shrieked. Mud pots roiled like cauldrons. Geysers thrust their watery fists into the sky. The giant shrugged aside its heavy cover. You can see lightning is happening. And its magma heart poured out, cooling onto the rocks. So this is a volcano exploding. Many, 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 many years ago. 
The volcanic ash and the pumice formed great yellow cliffs. Lava chilled in tall columns, creating columnar joints. Liquid rock froze into the black obsidian glass. I know some of you have mentioned that you know what obsidian, obsidian looks like. We've actually found some. When the giant grew weary, it fell back to drowsy sleep. Show you the pictures. Let me get my camera going the right way here. The cooling earth above collapsed, and the left it left the caldera edges to be carved by the streams and rivers into deep canyons. Seedlings, see these little sprouts here? Seedlings sprouted in the fertile ash and made pine forests and wild flowered hills. So you can see the little bunny, and here's this seedling. Now the giant rests, slumbering through the molten time, wrestling with its volcano dreams. The years may number tens of thousands before it wakes again. But today, the animals find refuge near the hot springs and the lush meadows. They find shelter under cool pines and inside yellow caves. The elk tucks its bulk, his bulk into the feathered grass. The bear cub curl against their mother in the earthen den. The mother wolf nestles her head over... It is so hard to get this to go because it's just the opposite. The mother wolf nestles her head over her deep breathing pups. Let's see. And the volcano dreams beneath them, beneath them all as the sun sets. And then as you turn to the back, there's our glossary. Tells you what words mean if you didn't understand them in the story. And it tells more about the volcano at Yellowstone. And that was Volcano Dreams, a story of Yellowstone. Well, it's been really nice reading a book to you guys. I miss seeing you. I sure hope we get to see each other in May. Take care. Wash your hands.